Welcome everyone, your iPhone 14 screen may be frozen and not responding to touch. So my iPhone is fully working, but just imagine when you swipe on the phone, it's not working. When you click the power button, the volume rockers, nothing is showing up. If that's the case, your iPhone is frozen and the fix is very simple. So we need to do a false restart to our iPhone 14. In order to do this, I'm gonna show you the process and then I'm going to walk through the exact instructions and do it live. So I do recommend you do the force restart as I do it in the video, okay? So the process is, we're going to click and release volume up, click and release volume down, and then we're gonna click and hold, and we're gonna keep on holding the power button until we see the Apple logo. So let's do this one together. This will give you the best success, okay? So pause the video now, get your iPhone 14 ready, and let's begin. So three, two, one, let's go. Click release volume up, click release volume down, click and hold the power button, keep this one held down, keep this one held down, don't release this. If your screen is frozen, you will not see the screen here, but what you should see is any moment now, the screen should turn off, okay? But keep on holding the power button, you're not gonna release. I want to see the Apple logo, you can now release, I'm not holding any more buttons. So. If this didn't work, what that means is two things. The first thing is you clicked and released the volume up and volume down key too quickly, or you clicked and released the volume up and volume down key too slowly, okay? Also keep in mind, if you accidentally release the power button, you have to re repeat the full process, okay? Of course, you can release the power button when you see the Apple logo, but if you released it before then, rewind the video, repeat the steps, okay? This will take multiple attempts because I'm a tech nerd, I guess you could say. And when I was doing this for the very first time, when I had to learn this, this took me five to 10 attempts, I'll admit. So if you're having issues and you know, you're not able to trigger the force restart, this will take multiple attempts. In the past, you literally will just hold down the power and home button together. It was so easy and then they removed that. So with that being said, thanks for watching. See you guys later, bye-bye.